Coming in at number 5, we have the 1964 SMS Kennedy Half Dollar. Now, SMS stands for Special Mint Set, and these coins were not originally intended for circulation. They were specially struck for collectors, making them quite rare. In top-notch condition, these coins can fetch a hefty sum at prestigious auctions. According to Heritage Auctions, there has been much debate regarding whether or not these coins were originally issued in special sets, since they were never in any form of special mint packaging, and official special mint sets were not issued until 1965. Sets of 1964 coins, including special strikes of the cent through half dollar, first began appearing in stack sales in the early 1990s. It is believed that most of those sets came from New York coin dealer Lester Merkin. The 1964 SMS Kennedy half dollar is struck on a 90% silver planchet, from a single pair of dies, showing much sharper detail than the regular issue and having a satiny surface texture. Die markers include, on the obverse, a tiny apostrophe-shaped lump of extra metal protruding from the bottom edge of the crosslet of the four in the date. This SP67 graded specimen was sold for $108,000. Moving on to number 4, we have the 1969's Lincoln cent with double die obverse. Now, double die coins are a result of a rare minting error that creates a distinct doubling effect on certain elements of the coin's design. The doubling on this variety is very dramatic, fully matching the spectacular appearance of the well-known 1955 and 1972 double die obverse varieties, but in the case of the 1969S, perhaps 100 times rarer. This MS64 red specimen with CAC approval, fetched a sum of $126,000. Next up at number 3 is the 1922 High Relief Matte Piece Dollar. What sets this coin apart is its unique matte finish and high relief design. The Piece Dollar series is already prized among collectors, but the 1922 variant with its distinct features takes rarity to a whole new level. This coin is a true beauty and a valuable addition to any collection. This is PR67 specimen graded by NGC. The striking details are needle sharp and the immaculate surfaces are free of hairlines, shiny spots, or abrasions. A small, round planchet flake between R and T of Liberty along the obverse border that assures the pedigree of this outstanding piece. It was sold for $329,000. Claiming the second spot is the 1958 Lincoln cent with double die obverse. Another instance of the fascinating double die phenomenon. This coin showcases a clear doubling of the obverse design. Such anomalies are like winning the numismatic lottery, and collectors are willing to pay a huge premium to add these rarities to their collections. An intriguing variety and exceedingly rare coin that stands tall among the highlights in the present collection. Indeed, this is one of the most significant Lincoln cents of any variety showcased by Stax Bowers. The spread to the doubling is wide and pronounced on the letters in the word liberty and the motto in God we trust. Less pronounced doubling is also evident on the digits and the date, particularly the 8. This MS64 red specimen was sold for $336,000. And now, our number one rare coin that could potentially set you on the path to early retirement, the 1975 Nose Roosevelt Dime. The absence of this mint mark, indicating production at the San Francisco Mint, was a minting error that occurred in a limited quantity of dimes. Owning one of these can be like holding a treasure, as they are highly sought after by numismatists. Listed in first place in the third edition of the 100 Greatest U.S. Modern Coins, the 1975 No S. Proof Roosevelt Dime is one of the rarest issues in all of American coinage. This coin showcase at Heritage Auctionsum is a stunning PR68 example, with fully struck design elements and deeply reflective fields on both sides. The virtually pristine surfaces are blanketed in attractive shades of cerulean blue and pale jade toning. Overall eye appeal is terrific. It fetched a sum of $456,000 in 2019. There you have it, folks, 5 rare coins that could turn your pocket change into a ticket to retirement. Remember, finding one of these gems is like discovering a hidden treasure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting content. God willing, see you in the next video.